another idea came to my head. Um, a lot of folks say that they love their parents. They love their parents. They want to live forever. And if they're gone, they do anything to get their parents back, you know. And uh, one way you can show you your parents who love them, whether they're around or not, is uh, taking care of yourself. Yeah, because you are an extension of them. Even after they're gone, you're going to be around and you're going to be an extension of them. Uh, they're going to be their living legacy. And if uh, you are taking care of yourself, you're probably going to make sure you don't do things that they wouldn't want you to do. That if uh, they were watching you, they probably would say, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that or... Maybe you shouldn't, uh, you know, stay up late watching videos all night and then show up to work tomorrow morning half asleep. Put yourself on the downsizing chop block. You know, so, I mean, that's just one way to show your parents you love them and keep their legacy alive is, or, I mean, you are their living legacy, whether it's good or not, but give them a good legacy. And when you make decisions that maybe they weren't strong enough to make and you improve on that, I mean, you were improving their legacy. You know what I'm saying? You're saying, you know, my parents had this potential and they lived it through me. So, yeah, so if you love your parents, man, more than any gift, more than buying them stuff and, you know, buy, taking them on trips and showing them that you love them. I mean, those things are bad, but... Take care of yourself, man. Take care of your health. Take care of your finances. Take care of everything you do. And every decision that you make, make sure that you would do it. Every decision you make, you make sure that they would approve of it. You know what I'm saying? And I know not everything. They don't know everything. Obviously, parents are perfect. But uh, even the decisions that you make that they would disagree with, just think, why would they disagree with that? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to... You're not a zombie. You're not a robot. You're not going to do everything that they want you to do. But even the things that you think, oh, maybe they wouldn't agree with that. Think about the why. You know what I'm saying? And then make your decision. So, um, just want to leave you guys with that thought.